We have a quorum present. We have a couple of employees tonight that we want to recognize, so I'm going to ask uh, uh, Thomas Doty uh, and Mayor Britton and Cindy Trent Doty to please come to the way. This one's a really special to me, of course. Most of you know Cindy's my wife, and I just happened to think as she walked around that podium that last time I remember that, we were getting married in this morning. <laughs> <laughs> she came down here, that was it all. And it's been wonderful. We've been married for 10 years and loved every minute of it. And but thank you so much for what you've done for the county. You served 20 years with Juvenile, and we as County Commission and Hamlin County really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> At this time, I'm going to ask uh, Commissioner Jeff Akers, uh, uh, Keith Ely, and Suzanne Smith to please come to the well. solution is at this point. There are lots of things that could be done. 
rather than taking it from your general fund, you could take it from what you donated to the city to work on their building. You could take it from the $100,000 you gave to a state facility, the Applied Technology, wonderful project, but it's a state duty. Uh, there are many other things. You could obviously take it from the Joint Economic and Community Development Board as well. So you might, well, I know you won't consider it, but those, those are the things that are so glaring about the way things are done. Money goes here, there, everywhere without a thought. Things are rough shot, boom, let's start on something, and nine years later we find we're short. So perhaps even you should take over this project. Take the money and the equipment or the you know the benches and bricks and let this let you handle it if you're going to put money into it. But let this be a lesson learned. Get your facts, get your money before you start spending it. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Hearing no one else then, we'll move on to the agenda. At this time, uh, we uh, come to the election of vice chairman. Uh, we would entertain a motion Mr. for Ray. nominees for vice chair. I make a motion we put Tim Goins in as vice chair. Okay, we have a motion that Tim Goins uh, be nominated for vice chair. Are there other nominees? Make a motion to nominate Randy DeBoer. Okay, sure. Randy DeBoer is nominated. Are there other nominees? Hearing no other nominees, then we will vote on Tim Goins and uh, Randy DeBoer. Madam Clerk, please call the roll, and as your name is called, <coughs> indicate the person that you're voting for. Jeff Akert. Tim Goins. Chris Cutshaw. Randy DeBoer. Randy DeBoer. Yes. Don't vote on this. <laughs> Randy DeBoer. <laughs> Thomas Doty. Randy DeBoer. Tim Goins. Tim Goins. Bobby Hahn. Tim Goins. <coughs> Tim Horner. Tim Goins. Joe Huntsman. Tim Goins. Scotty Long. Tim Goins. Wayne E. Smith. Tim Goins. Howard Shipley. Tim Goins. Jim Stepp. Tim Goins. Taylor Ward. Tim Goins. Ten for Tim and three for the board. Congratulations on your re-election as vice chair and the chairman at this time will yield the chair to you for the president <coughs> of chairman. Thank you. Thank you all for your support. Okay, at this time we're gonna uh, have an election for the chair chairman. Do I have anybody? That's one put on put anybody on for. I'm nominated to Howard Shipley. Howard Shipley? Anybody else? Seeing none, we'll call the roll. Jeff Eichert. Howard Shipley. Chris Cutshaw. Howard Shipley. Randy DeBoer. Howard Shipley. Thomas Doty. Howard Shipley. Tim Goins. Howard Shipley. Bobby Hahn. Howard Shipley. Tim Horner. Howard Shipley. Joe Huntsman. Howard Shipley. Scotty Long. Howard Shipley. Wayne Neesmith. Abstain. Howard Shipley. Howard Shipley. Jim Stepp. Howard Shipley. Tyler Ward. Howard Shipley. Twelve for Howard and one abstain. Chairman, congratulations. Thank you. It has been an honor to serve you during the last 11 months, and I look forward to serving you again during uh, the next year. And appreciate your, your support. Uh, we work together as a team, and I think we will continue to do so, and I appreciate that very much.
Okay, at this time, we would entertain a motion for the salary of the chairman. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that the salary stays the same. The same. Okay, we have a motion. The salary remains the same. Taylor Board has seconded the motion. Any discussion? All those in favor? I guess we need to do this. Uh, okay, yeah. Roll call. <clears throat> Jeff Akers? Aye. Chris Cutshaw? Aye. Randy DeBoer? Aye. Thomas Doty? Aye. Tim Goins? Aye. Bobby Hahn? Aye. Tim Horner? Aye. Joe Huntsman? Aye. Scotty Long? Aye. Wayne Neesmith? Aye. Howard Shipley? Aye. Jim Stepp? Aye. Taylor Ward? Aye. 13 minutes. Okay, the motion carries. At this time, we would entertain a motion for county attorney. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to nominate uh, Chris Capps to continue in that position. Okay, we have a nomination for Chris Capps. Sir? Second. You second? We really don't need a second, but uh, other nominees? Hearing none, then I would entertain a motion that nomination cease and that he be elected by acclamation. Chris uh, Cutshaw, Taylor Wolf. All those in favor of the motion, let it be known uh, again by roll call. Jeff Akers? Aye. Chris Cutshaw? Aye. Randy DeBoer? Aye. Thomas Doty? Aye. Tim Goins? Aye. Bobby Hahn? Aye. Jeff, Tim Horner? Abstain. Joe Hansman? Aye. Scotty Long? Yes. Wayne Neesmith? No. Howard Shipley? Yes. Jim Stepp? Yes. Taylor Ward? Yes. I have 12 yeses, one abstain, and one no. Congratulations. Yes. Chairman Shipley, Commissioners, thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate your support. Okay. I need it. At this time, we would entertain a motion that we confirm the mayor's appointment of Thomas Doty to the E-911 E board. I need to point out that the expiration date is August the 31st, 2020, not 2022. <coughs> it's August the 31st, 2020. Taylor Ward. And Bobby Hahn is second. Okay? Any discussion? Since I don't think this one involves any money, all those in favor, let me know by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, congratulations um, on your appointment. Okay. Calendar Rules Committee report, Chairman Huntsman, you are recognized. Does anybody like to speak to you need to just accept it. You need to make a motion. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent calendar. We have a motion to approve the consent calendar. Is there a second? Uh, Tim Horner has seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, uh, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the motion carries. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to approve the the regular calendar. All right, we have a motion to approve the regular calendar. Is there a second? Second. And step to second. Any discussion? Hearing none, then, all those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? The motion carries. Thank you, uh, Chairman Huntsman. At this time, the chair would entertain a motion that we approve the consent calendar. Thomas Doty moves. Is there a second? Uh, him, uh, Horner, seconds. Any discussion? Hearing none, then all of those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? The motion carries. Finance Committee Chairman, Randy DeBoer, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Item 6A, the approval of the monthly checks for August. I'll put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Thomas Doty, second. 
All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. You probably need to vote on this. Voted on aye. Yeah. Okay. Jeff Akert. Aye. Chris Cutshaw. Aye. Randy DeBoer. Aye. Thomas Doty. Aye. Tim Goins. Aye. Bobby Hahn. Aye. Tim Horner. Aye. Joe Huntsman. Aye. Scotty Long. Aye. Wayne Lee Smith. Aye. Howard Shipley. Aye. Jim Stepp. Aye. Taylor Ward. Aye. 13 U.S. 09. The motion is approved. Item 6B, the budget amendments. Item 1 is Fund 101 for Sheriff's Department for $10,350. I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. Chris Cutshaw, second. The motion. Any discussion? Karen Dennis, vote the motion. By roll call. Jeff Akers. Aye. Chris Cutshaw. Aye. Randy DeBoer. Aye. Thomas Doty. Aye. Tim Goins. Aye. Bobby Hahn. Aye. Tim Horner. Aye. Joe Huntsman. Aye. Scotty Long. Aye. Wayne Neesmith. Aye. Howard Shipley. Aye. Jim Stepp. Aye. Taylor Ward. Aye. 13 yes, 0 no. The motion is approved. Item 6, uh, B2, Fund 101 for Circuit Court Clerk. I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Thomas Doty, second. Any discussion? Carrie Dunn, then please call the roll. Jeff Akerts. Aye. Chris Cutshaw. Aye. Randy DeBoer. Aye. Thomas Doty. Aye. Tim Goins. Aye. Bobby Hahn. Aye. Tim Horner. Aye. Joe Huntsman. Aye. Scotty Long. Aye. Wayne E. Smith. Aye. Howard Shipley. Aye. Jim Stepp. Aye. Taylor Ward. Aye. 13S09. The motion is approved. Item 6B3, Fund 101 for uh, 1670, and I put that in the form of a motion. Do we have a motion? Do we have a second? Second. James Stepps has second the motion. Any discussion? Carrie and Dennis, let's vote the motion by roll call. Jeff Akerts. Aye. Chris Cutshaw. Aye. Randy DeBoer. Aye. Thomas Doty. Aye. Tim Goins. Aye. Bobby Hong. Aye. Tim Horner. Aye. Joe Huntsman. Aye. Scotty Long. Aye. Wayne E. Smith. Aye. Howard Shipley. Aye. Jim Stepp. Aye. Taylor Ward. Aye. 13 yes, 0 no. The motion is approved. Item 6B4, Fund 101 for County Clerk at $25,000. I'm going to put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? A second. Uh, Bobby Hahn has seconded the motion. Any discussion? Why are we spending $25,000 on this system that don't work? It's not on this system. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not on this system. Uh, oh, it's not on this system. <laughs> I would agree. What do we pay for this system? <laughs> Penny, Penny can, uh, can answer your question. It's not on this system. It's for the new upgrade we have to have for the Windows 10. And it's no new monies. That's my reserve money. There's no new monies. <laughs> We're on that. Any more discussion? <laughs> Call the roll, please. Jeff Akers. Aye. Chris Cutshaw. Aye. Randy DeBoer. Aye. Thomas Dolan. Aye. Tim Goins. Aye. Bobby Hahn. Aye. Tim Horner. Aye. Joe Huntsman. Aye. Scotty Long. Aye. Wayne Neesmith. Aye. Howard Shipley. Aye. Jim Stepp. Aye. Taylor Ward. Aye. 13 yes, 0 9. The motion is approved. <laughs> Item 6C, I would like, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to turn this over to Mayor Britton. Okay. This is uh, for the bid award for the convenience center uh, improvements out of the landfill uh, paid partly by a state grant. The, um, the bids came, came back insufficient, like we didn't have any bids on the gate and only one on the paving and two on the concrete pad, so we're going to rebid. The, the project and we'll come back uh, next month and, and report on it. Mr. Chairman, probably a motion to reject the bid oh, okay. received would be would be appropriate. All right, we would entertain a motion to reject the bid. Uh, Taylor Ward, uh, uh, the board, second the motion. Uh, any discussion? 
Vote the motion, please. Oh, I guess we can do all of this. Aye. All those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? The motion is approved. Item D for the Veterans Memorial Funding Request. And I'll put that in the form of the motion, Mr. Chairman. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. Okay. James Stepp is second. Uh, any discussion? Discussion. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. This, uh, we're looking at $20,000 more. Dollars. And when we get through this, that memorial is going to cost $147,000. Plus 20 more. That's $167,000 for that memorial that we've been working on for over eight years. That, that 147 includes the 20. It includes it. I know the six flagpoles and the lights is going to, is going to be like 25000 and 5000 or $60 for each flag. It, seems, it just seems like a lot of money, and it's taken a lot of time, and we've been promised over and over and over we're going to get this thing fixed, but we're, we're not going to. But this money, where we're taking it from, uh, we're giving money out just like it was candy. Mm -hmm. Right across the street over at Rose Center, city-owned property. We give him five thousand dollars and put their internet or, or their cable in for him. But yet, that's a city-owned building. And talking with the guys on these flagpoles, the city didn't contribute one penny to this flagpole thing. Okay, I'm going to ask uh, Mayor Britton to please address the uh, Rose Center project. Just, just update on the Rose Center project. We spent three hundred dollars on the Rose Center project. Our IT guy did the project himself. Um, he had to buy $300 worth of tools, and so we spent $300 on the project. And, and we it's still have the tools. Pardon? We still have we the tools. We still have the tools, and we'll keep them. So. Question, but we did, in our budget this year, we gave them $5,000. It was the, the budget this year has $5,000 appropriated to Rose Center, though. The wiring project was $8,000 out of money left over for the, um, I think it was the, the alarm project, I think. Yeah, uh, it was another project, anyway. That there was eight, there was, in last fiscal year, there was $18,000 appropriated for a project at Rose Center. We spent 10, I think. We had, uh, we spent eight. So that leaves us 10. And so we appropriated eight for this wiring project. We spent three, and that was out of last year's budget. So the other uh, $8,700 went to fund balance. And then this year we did appropriate $5,000, which is what we've been doing the last several years for, cap for capital needs. Thank you. Uh, Chris Cutshaw, you're right. Yes, sir. Uh, I'd like to make an amendment to this motion. But first, could I ask uh, Mr. Rutherford to stand and answer a question or two? Yes. Could you please? Uh, we're, we're just uh, in an effort to be accountable. Sure. We'd like to uh, have a balanced or an expense sheet to know how much maybe the county is already invested. Just to, to make some accountability to what we're sure be glad to. Yes, sir. If you can do that for us, I'd like to make a motion that we amend um, per his expense and balance sheet that we spend up to twenty thousand. But if it's less, we don't. All right. You have the amendment to the motion. Is there a second to the amendment? I'll second. Uh, Con seconds the amendment. Any discussion to the amendment? Could you read that amendment? Okay, that we have a hard time here. That we spend up to twenty thousand dollars. If we don't spend that much, then we're not going to spend that much. Yeah, that's correct. I, but but in that, I'd like to see um, where the expenses are right now and what's left to be spent on. All right, for your sheet. Sure. Have we ever got any money back? Well, yes, a lot of times we get money back that goes into the general fund. We, we didn't get it from Rose Center, did we? Well, at the, okay, Mayor Rick, would you address that? On the Rose Center projects, we paid for the project. Right. So we didn't give them money to give back. 
How about so the, the ten thousand? All right, of the ten thousand, we spent three hundred of it, and so, but we did not give them the ten thousand. We we kept it. We paid a, the bill for three hundred dollars, and then so the ninety seven hundred stayed with us, and it's in the fund balance of the general fund. We went back in the fund balance. Yes. Never left. The money Never left. Back. Maybe this money will come back. Is there any more discussion <laughs> on the amendment? We're going to vote the amendment now. Call the roll. Jill Baker? Aye. Chris Cutshaw? Aye. Randy DeBoer? Aye. Thomas Doty? Aye. Tim Goins? Upstate. Bobby Hahn? Aye. Tim Horner? Aye. Joe Huntsman? Aye. Scotty Long? Aye. Wayne Neesmith? Aye. Howard Shipley? Aye. Jim Stapp? Aye. Taylor Ward? We call it abstain also. Got 11 yeses, 2 abstains. The amendment is approved. We're back to the original motion as amended. Is there any more discussion on the original motion as amended? If not, then let's vote the motion. Call the roll, please. Jeff Akerts? Aye. Chris Cutshaw? Aye. Randy DeBoard? Aye. Thomas Doty? Aye. Tim Goins? Upstate. Bobby Hahn? Aye. Tim Horner? Aye. Joe Huntsman? Aye. Scotty Long? Aye. Wayne Neesmith? No. Howard Shipley? Aye. Jim Stepp? Aye. Taylor Ward. Ten ayes, one no, two abstains. Okay, the motion is approved. Thank you, Chairman Ward. So Appreciate that. Sure. This time, Public Service Committee, uh, Chairman Tim Goins, you're recognized. Thank you, Chairman. I'd like to call the personnel committee to order. You don't need to create, hey. you just need to yeah, make I'd, I'd like to make an amendment, well, uh, no, I'd like to uh, make a motion. So we passed the 15 items that's on uh, uh, IT office to uh, turn in. Do you want me to read each one of them? No. Okay. We have a motion to uh, approve these surplus items. Yes, Joe Huntsman has taken the motion. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the roll, please. <coughs> Jeff Baker? Aye. Uh, Chris Cutshaw? Aye. Uh, Randy DeBoer? Aye. Thomas Doty? Aye. Tim Goins? Aye. Bobby Hahn? Aye. Tim Horner? Aye. Joe Huntsman? Aye. Scotty Long? Aye. Wayne Neesmith? Aye. Howard Shipley? Aye. Jim Stepp? Aye. Taylor Ward? Aye. 13 yes, 0 no. Okay, the motion is approved. Thank you, Chairman. Thank That's all you, I have. Uh, Chairman uh, uh, Goins. At this time, we would entertain uh, any comments from the public. Please come to the podium, identify yourself, and we'll have three minutes. Anyway. I know I can't feel it. Just Niagara Reed, uh, 4265 Oakland Circle, apartment B. <coughs> Facebook, well, 
false preacher, false prophet. I'm going to have my blood drawn. If this person can't prove that I'm not on my depakote, which Melissa Ballou, which is our roommate, and my wife, she witnessed my wife giving me my medication every single day. I'm tired. That goes for anybody. Don't ever have me say things behind my back and I hear about it, whatever. I'm suing for slander. Defamation of character, mental anguish, stress, whatever. That's it. Thank you for your time. I believe every last one of you feels the same way. Oh, yeah. Now, my wife, Amy, she won a lawsuit, okay? doesn't matter which one. But this church aggravated her to pay her tithes, which really was supposed to have been 20 Gs. I talked Amy into just giving 10 Gs, okay? This preacher, Jennifer Presley, has every last one of y'all Blindsided, thinking that. Nigel, your time's up. We appreciate oh. your comments. Thank but you. Thinking very much. that she's Thank a good at two shoes? No. Thank you very much. Do we have anyone else who wishes to address the commission? Yes. My name is Gwendolyn Hogan. I live at 2343 Deception Springs Road. I'm here on about the Henry County Marston Joint Economic and Community Development Board meeting on September the 9th. Uh, no one was there. Mr. Britton wasn't there. Mr. Chesney wasn't there. And you, Mr. Shipley, was not there. Why was that meeting canceled? Because there has been a challenge that the committee is not an official committee unless it's approved by both legislative bodies, that has not happened. And I understand that in the very near future, each of the bodies will be uh, considering that. And it will not meet until it receives official approval. Okay. Well, I went upstairs myself to find out why the meeting was canceled. I wanted to see if your answer was like Ms. Barnum's was. And she said that the board members said you've got to fix the 2001 interlocal agreement mm -hmm. and that that's established and the board and its members that's just what you just said so just a month ago you had marshall ramsey and bill Britton telling you the board had has eight members i was here at the meeting so i heard it. one one uh, are legally appointed that is not the truth they're not legally appointed because you just said that their board was not even legal. Mm -hmm. So that is not the truth. So, and Mr. Ramsey isn't even a legal member. So, you know, uh, from last month, the way that he was talking and everything, you know, I think he owes somebody an apology. I won't mention the name. I'll let you all figure it out. Because he called that person a liar. And he shouldn't have done that. He owes that person an apology. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else who wishes to address the commission? Hey, y'all done? My name is Larry White. I'm from East Hamilton County. I'm here to kind of remind you about the red flag clause we talked about last month. I still think it's unconstitutional and it's detrimental to any law abiding citizen and also the police force. I mean, because they're the ones that's going to have to put their life on the line with this. I think it's very unconstitutional and I don't even like to have to be here talking about it, but somebody has to. So our group is here to talk about it tonight. Uh, it's just, I don't know how to say it, it's just very unconstitutional. And I, I am a constitution. I'm not a Democrat, I'm not a Republican, I'm an American. Amen. And I'm here for our Second Amendment rights. 
and this is all against our Second Amendment rights. I feel like, you know, this country is going in the wrong direction. There has not been one gun law that has prevented anything that I know of. Anything. And more gun laws, all you're doing is hurting innocent people. This red flag law is one of the worst. And if anybody has read anything about this red flag law, you'll understand. Especially if you're a constitutional person. And I believe in our Bill of Rights and our Constitution. And I look for y'all to uphold in our local government. That's all I've got to say. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Anyone else who wishes to address the commission? I just want to refresh you on some of this stuff on this red flag deal. The Constitution and the Bill of Rights says that a man has got an opportunity to place his accuser. With this law, you don't have the opportunity. You're guilty until you're proven innocent. If you place it for a Bill of Rights reads, you're innocent until proven guilty. It goes against. Constitution and the Bill of Rights both. Anybody got any questions on what we talked about last month? Or want to ask anything, I'll try to answer. But it goes against the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. It just, it's not fair. Somebody can turn, go to the judge, turn me in because they don't like me, they don't like fire, whatever. Next thing I know, they're Beating on my door at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. You're under arrest. Like everybody else, I'm beating on my door at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to go to gun. And when they open that door and I see guns, I'm going to be dead or they're not going to be shooting. It's just that simple. This red flag law is against common sense, it's against the Constitution, it's against the Bill of Rights. Any questions? to address the commission and we didn't get all our information across to everybody. Uh, I left a packet with the commission and then emailed the ones that had emailed addresses with all the information. So everybody should pretty much have all that. But I would like to request uh, the commission to put on next month's agenda a resolution to have Hammond County uh, declaring their support for the Second Amendment and turning it into a Second Amendment statutory. And I can read this or just hand it to you. It's a very short declaration. I just hand it to uh, uh, the mayor's not here. We'll give it to his executive secretary. Okay. We have several announcements that I want to call your attention to. You, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're fine. My name is Melissa Ballou, and I live at 3728 Halifax Circle here in Morristown. Um, I was one of the ones that tried to get the uh, group that had taken over the animal shelter out a few years back. Well, the same group is now trying to take it down again and get Misty Kirk out of it. Um, I have proof. I, I'd love to show the commissioners, anyone that's wanting to see it. Um, it's Noah's Ark. And I really think Noah's Ark needs to be addressed because they're attacking people. Death threats, stealing people's animals. And I think the county commission needs to address this. It's been happening for years. They're not an animal rescue group. 
They're an animal rights group. They want animals like the EU registered as sentient beings. And they're attacking farmers, anybody they can in Tennessee. Of course, the leader of it is coming out of UD. But that's all I have to say. Okay, thank you very much for your comment. One more, and I'll be quick. Okay, Mr. Gardner, here's a little invitation. <laughs> My name is Teresa Archer and I live in the 13th district. I'm going to be the one to open up the dirty subject of the county. But I know you all are getting ready to have a meeting Monday afternoon for a new appointment. And I would like for it. I know there's talk out there. We want this person to have this job and this person wants that job. And that's all fine and good. But minus one, the 13 of you all took an oath to do what was right for your constituents. I wish you would get out here and knock doors, talk to the people in your district, see what the people want. That's what you're here for. Mr. Long, I love your wife. I think you're a good businessman. This is nothing against you. I think you can do well in the job. But this is a time with so much distrust. You need to know what the people want. We do pay your salary and you know, come May and August of next year, they can speak again. And in two years, you're all up for re-election. Be careful and do what the people want. Amen. I mean, that's just something that we need to do. And the, where you were talking about the gentleman here, you wanted to itemize statement from you, Mr. Cutshaw. Yes. Don't worry about asking for that over a year ago, and he never got it. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do we have anyone else who wishes to address the commission? Yeah, it's very quick and brief. <laughs> quick, I want to ask the county commission next month if they would to vote on this resolution to make Hamlin County a constitutional county where we provide the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Because people feel that with my disability of uh, being bipolar, I might be put on that red flag list. And I, I don't have nothing, nothing to do with it. I don't know what's, what's going on. That's not fair to me or other people with disabilities, point blank, period. Okay, thank you, Nigel. Okay, let's go to the announcements. I want to point out the first one. There's a change of uh, the normal meeting date. It's on Tuesday, not Monday. Tuesday, October the 15th. This is the October committee meeting at uh, 5.30 here in the large courtroom. Our commission meeting in October will be Thursday, October the 24th at 5 p.m. here in the large courtroom. There's another announcement here regarding the adverse childhood experience and the State of Tennessee initiative to address ACEs entitled and they give the reason for the meeting that's on Wednesday, October the 9th at 11 a.m. in the community room at the Hamlin County Health Department. Commissioners are reminded of the uh, Tennessee County Commission Association Regional <coughs> Meeting Tuesday, September the 24th at 5.30 uh, in Knoxville. What time do they need to be here in order to live? You need to be here at 4.30. Those of you who are going need to be here at 4.30. Okay. Also note, that the Jail Justice Center proposal presentation is Thursday, October the 17th at 5 p.m. here in the courthouse. I want to remind all commissioners of the special call meeting to fill the trustee vacancy, which will be Monday, October the 23rd at 5 p.m. here in, I say, I believe that's 5.30. 5.30 p.m. here in the courtroom. I'm sorry, it's 5.30. Okay, one other announcement. Uh, 
new committee assignments will be made very soon. And if you have a committee that you want to be on, I would appreciate it if you could let me know between now and Monday. Uh, and, uh, and we'll get those assignments out to you hopefully on Tuesday uh, the 24th. Okay? You'll stand here.